Hello everyone, we're back. Last time we were doing the drums and now we're gonna work on the bass. So we're going to create a new track and we are gonna say it is guitar bass and uh, we'll open this up here, create the track. And so we wanna go, as you can see, it's got like the clean guitar, this and that and this and the bass and stuff like that. If you ever if you're ever in this menu, you can see down here, you can go oops. You can go oh back here. So and then you could like say if you weren't playing a, a guitar or bass, you can you know you could do like if you were recording real drums and you could do that. And these are presets and if you you know if you're just starting out presets are really good to kind of get you a, a a good sound so say if you're, you're like miking a kick you can like pick one of these presets see which one sounds the best and then tweak it from there it's a really good place to start and you just have to kind of go down here and sweep over and uh so, but we're doing bass today so i just wanted to show that we are going to go to uh, back to electric guitar and bass and then go to clean bass now out of this you know you could kind of see there's different types and uh, the one i've always liked is the big stack it sounds good i think it's like an a ampeg vst copy that's the one i'll be going for that's like the standard in rock like a p bass through a ampeg vst now normally when i record bass for real I mic the amp and then I also run a DI and then I blend them and you get the 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 basic sound character of the amp but then you get a little bit more full frequency response from the DI but here I'm just going to use the preset here in the uh, logic of the big stack now I'm going to try to do everything in one take, but things happen. Sometimes you flub something. We're all human, and I'm I'm even more flawed than most humans. So I'm going to try to do it in one, and then hopefully do it, but probably what's going to happen is it's going to end up being in pieces. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do here is, if I didn't mention it last time, I moved my song to start one bar in, and that's so when I start recording, the first part of the note doesn't get cut off. It gives it a little bit more room to breathe in case I come in a hair early. So first, uh, we're going to tune the bass. You can tune it by clicking right there. Okay, close enough. I know this is a, a really exciting part of the video, the tuning segment. Okay, just a reminder, everything is wonky here. I got wires running out of one computer going into the other. And the last time it was crashing, the Reaper was at least. So uh, knock on wood, here we go. A few moments later. All right, here we are. I got the bass recorded. I was messing with the the uh, bass uh, earlier. Let me find a spot where I want to play a loop. Let's just kind of do... I guess let's start here, huh? So here I'm going to add the loop. And... If you can see, and if you look at the bass amp, I had a compressor by the way, just to even things out. There's a little slider here between amp and direct box, so you can actually go all direct box, which you really don't want to do, or all amp, or kind of just blend it in between and get a good sound. And you could mess with the direct box and mess with the tone, but I like 
I usually, when I do a direct box, it's just a basic direct and un, you know, untouched because you're just trying to get those those frequencies to fill in the amp tone, you know. And uh, of course, you can you know change the amp if you want. This is a preset, so and I added compression, but I messed with the knobs too a little bit. I think I uh, bumped the mid and treble up a little bit. And I think I lowered the gain a hair, but you can change the cab. You can you can uh, basically change the mic, and you can pick where it goes on the speaker. And uh, there you go. So that's basically the whole bass thing there. Let me stop this. I'm sure it's uh, driving everybody mad, and that's my job. But. I hope you enjoyed this. Next up will be the guitars. I need to get... I'm going to get a new interface. So hopefully it will make doing this a lot easier. So we'll hopefully the next part will be done with a brand new interface and uh, sound a lot better and come out a lot better if, if the theory is correct. And right now I have a, a cable connected to my PC and... That's just a, a disaster. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and have a good one. <laughs>